Welcome to our history lesson. Today we're going to learn about the history brush and how we can use it for some quick edits. Now what I have here is an old photograph that I took back in 2006, just of a pelican. The reason that I'm showing this is that there's a lot of detail and colour within pelicans which this image really isn't bringing out. Now this is only a JPEG so I really don't, I'm not surprised that it's not giving me a lot of information but I think we can make it look much better than it currently is. First thing I'm going to do is just copy that so I've got a, uh, a original layer we can then refer back to that as well and I'm going to come up here to our layer modes. What I'm going to do first though is just bring this pelican in a little closer. I want to be able to see what's happening up here. So as I go through each of these and I can click on them and then just with my arrow drop down to the next one, I just want to make some initial uh, judgments as to which layers could be worthwhile using with the history brush. I'm just going to bring this across as well because I want to be able to see these feathers in here. Now you can see that the colour dodge layer is giving me quite a nice colours and definition, a bit over the top, but there's some good stuff in there. And we'll just keep going through them. And the vivid light also is giving us some nice definition. So I think it's going to be vivid light and colour dodge that we use with our history brush. Now I'm just going to put that back onto normal so that it's basically back to where we started. Over here we have a thing called the history brush and up the top here we have our uh, modes for our layers. What I can do up here is if I go down to our colour dodge and I want to make sure that my opacity is down so that um, I'm not going to be going too over the top and I'm just going to bring up a nice big soft brush and I'm going to just paint in here some detail and highlight. Now I don't want to go off the bird because the background at this point in time is pretty much how I want it. But I do just want to bring up some detail and some lightness and whiteness into our pelican so that I can highlight him a little bit. Now remember whatever you make lighter will draw your eye. So let's just turn that on and off and you can already see that he's starting to look more interesting. Now you'll also notice too that the colour in the eye is really starting to come out nicely now as well. So I'm just going to bring a little bit more lightness just into that top part there. I'm now going to switch over to Vivid Light which was giving us a lot more detail and I'm just going to come in nice and close particularly just down on these bottom bits here where there's all these beautiful wrinkles and textures. So I'll just put a little bit more into there. And I'm also going to do the same thing just on the back of his head here with these feathers just to bring a little bit more detail and emphasis into those. So if I now turn that on and off, you can see that it's we've done a very, very quick edit but it certainly has changed the way that this image looks. Now of course you could go and do a layer for each of those and paint them on with masks but when you're trying to do a little quick edit like this one sometimes that history tool can be really useful. I hope you have enjoyed this week's episode and I'll see you again next week. Bye for now.